everybody, today I'm going to be doing Would You Rather 2.0 Booktube Edition. I saw this tag going around Booktube recently and I'm like, I gotta do it. I gotta do this tag. It seems really fun but really difficult, but I like to challenge myself. This was created by Leaning Light, so I'll be linking her video down below. Also guys, I'm in a new location in my dorm room. We have a second bookshelf, so my bookshelf that's in my room is actually not the only bookshelf in this dorm. We have three. Oh shoot. Okay, so on to the tag video. So the first question is, would you rather only do review videos or tag videos? This is very easy for me because I actually don't like doing review videos. If you have not noticed, I hardly have any on my channel. Not because I don't like books and I don't want to review them. I do wish I could review books. I just am very scattered minded when I do reviews and they're a pain in the butt to edit and it just really stresses me out. So definitely tag videos because I love doing them and I'm doing one now. Number two is a very difficult one that I'm not excited to answer because I still don't know what my answer is going to be. And this one is, would you rather always see the film first or never see the book to movie adaptation? For this one, uh, see, I, that's the thing. I would hate to watch the film first, but I think that's gonna be my choice because only a few book to movie adaptations actually go through. So you know what, it's not like gonna be like every single book I read, I'm gonna be spoiled by the movie. But you know, usually book to movie adaptations are done from very good books. So that would really suck, but I'm gonna have to do with see the book to movie adaptation before I actually read the book, which is really difficult and I don't like the answer, but I'm gonna choose it. Plus, I love seeing book to movie adaptations. Like there's so much fun and yeah I want to be really able to relate to it when I see it but afterwards I can re-watch it once I read the book and then I can fangirl and relate to it as well so you know it's not all lost. Okay so the next question is a long one so I'm gonna read it off my cellular device. Would you rather have a list of every book you've ever read like Goodreads from birth? I love or still have the physical copy of your first favorite book. I think I would have to choose have a physical copy of my first favorite book because having a list of all of them, I don't know, I don't get really anything out of that except knowing what books I've read, but I have like a memorized list, so that still counts, right? And that's not an actual physical list, but I know like the books I've read since I was younger. I don't know the exact names, but I know the genres and like the series names, like Nancy Drew, Cam Jansen was the shit. Ugh. So good. The fourth question is, would you rather have an active in-person book club of non-booktubers or have lunch with your best booktube buddy once a year? Ooh, I mean like I do technically have lunch with my booktube buddies once a year when I go to VidCon, but honestly I'd rather have the in-person interactive book club group because a lot of my friends are booktubers and they love reading. Like my roommates love reading, not all of them are YouTubers. My friends back at home, like none of them are booktubers and they love reading just as much as I do. So I really would hate to lose that. So definitely the first option. Even though I love my booktube buddies as well, don't get me wrong. Question number five is definitely something that I have a dilemma with. Would you rather have the time to read everything you want to read or the money to buy everything you want to read? See, I wish I had the money to buy everything I wanted to read, but I don't. Yeah, I have a lot of books, guys, but it's called bargain shopping. I highly recommend you go do it because if you have a half price books, buy your house, definitely go to it because that's where I get pretty much all my books and they're like half price and it's lovely. But honestly, I would rather have the time to read everything I want to read because I find that going to college, like I don't have that much time anymore to read, even though I still do. I take it out of my sleep schedule, which probably isn't very good, but reading, yay! So like I'd rather have the time because honestly, like I have enough books right now that I need to read what's on my TBR first before I buy more books. That has been failing. Number six is, would you rather dream cast the film or have editing powers over the script for the film version? Ooh, okay, honestly, I would rather dream cast it because I really love dream casting people for books. So definitely be the dream caster. -er. Plus, if they're really good actors, they can bring a lot to the script that may be kind of crappy. Number eight is, would you rather read an amazing story with a meh ending or a math story with a spectacular ending. I think I would rather read a spectacular story with a math ending because then a majority of the book will actually be great rather than the majority of the book be meh and then the ending be yay, but I'd rather read majority of the book actually being really good. Number nine is, would you rather not be able to read in a moving vehicle or not be able to read lying down? Um, I like reading lying down. I like it a lot because that's what I do before I go to bed. So that's like my main reading stance. So if I didn't have to read in a moving vehicle, I would be fine. Number 10 is, would you rather reread your favorite book or series with fresh eyes 
like the first time, or be able to unread your biggest disappointment. Is that even a question? I would love to reread my favorite book with fresh eyes. Like, oh my gosh, I want to do that with like Mortal Instruments, Outlander, Throne of Glass, and like all these amazing books, and that will make me so happy. The reason I actually don't reread a lot of books is because I know what's going to happen and kind of is like anticlimactic for me. So that's why I don't really reread other books. So if I could reread them with fresh eyes, that would be such an awesome problem solver for me. Thank you very much. And a bonus question is, would you rather go to Hogwarts or live in Middle Earth? Um, go to Hogwarts, is that even a question? Hello? Do you like my Ravenclaw robe? If you guys do not know, I am in Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw, we win at life. Technically not at Gryffindor, I always win, but you know. But yes, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you would choose if you had the choice to live at Hogwarts or Middle Earth. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.